everyone. I am bringing you a book haul today. These are all the books that I have purchased in the past couple months. I was doing so well with my book buying restrictions. I was sticking very well to the rule I adopted from Mercedes of only buying books that were new releases that you were super excited about and books for buddy reads. I was doing really well with that and then August ended and school began and I bought some books because what do you do when you're stressed and anxious about coursework? You buy books, right? I mean, that's what we all do. We self-medicate with books. So that's what I did. And I don't really regret it at all because I'm super excited about all of these and I didn't go too crazy. I mean, I have a good stack here, but it's not as bad as it has been sometimes in the past. And this is from a few months, not just one month. So. I feel, all in all, I feel pretty good about it. So without further ado, let me get started into the things that I have bought. And the first thing that I have on my stack here is this lovely box set of the first three chapter books in the Guardians of Childhood series by William Joyce. They are Nicholas St. North and the Battle of the Nightmare King. Let me show that one to you. These are all very gorgeous. There's that right here. The spines are lovely. And obviously this one is about Santa Claus. And then the second book is E. Aster Bunnymund and the Warrior Eggs at the Earth's Core, which is obviously about the Easter Bunny. It's very beautiful as well. And then the third book in this little box set is Toothiana, Queen of the Tooth Fairy Armies, which is obviously about the Tooth Fairy. This might be my favorite one. I like this little, this like mint green color. It's very beautiful indeed. And yes, like I said, these are the first three chapter books in the Guardians of Childhood series by William Joyce. And I am, uh, like I showed in my last video, I have read the first two picture books in this series. So I'm excited to dig into the chapter books. I have no doubt that they will be just as magical as the picture books have been. And I love William Joyce's writing and illustrations. And so yeah, I'm super excited to get into these in the near future. The next book I have for you is a new release that came out at the end of September, I believe, and that is The Doldrums by Nicholas Gannon. I'm sure you've seen this around lately. Um, it's getting a good amount of hype, and this book is uh, written and illustrated by Nicholas Gannon, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love his illustration style. Let me show you some of the illustrations throughout. It's absolutely gorgeous. There are full color things like that, and like this here. And then there are also some sketch blueprint type things throughout as well. And then there's some, there's another one. There's some double page spreads. Let me find one of those for you. Yes, like that. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the color palette that he uses and the warmth of the tones and everything like that. It's just absolutely beautiful. And it's also just a really well-made book as well. The paper is really good quality and it's got a good weight to it so it feels nice in your hands. So yeah, if this looks interesting to you and you like middle grade, I would definitely suggest picking it up. And the next book that I have to show you, or the next box set actually, that I have to show you is something that I am super excited about. That was, um, this just came out a couple weeks ago, I think. And it is a box set of some of Neil Gaiman's children's books, but they're the versions that are illustrated by Chris Riddle, which have previously only been available in the UK, so you could get them through the book depository, but you couldn't get them in the US, but they've published them in these beautiful editions in the US, and I will take them out and show them to you now. We have Coraline, Fortunately, The Milk, which I actually already have a U.S. copy of, but I mean it came in this box set and I really enjoy this cover as well and I'm no stranger to having multiple copies, so that didn't bother me at all. And then the last one is The Graveyard Book, and this one might be my favorite color. I like the blue tones and Chris Riddell's illustrations are just wonderful and they're illustrated throughout in black and white as well. Let me find a, an example to show you. At least I thought they were. Yes. Yes. They're all illustrated throughout as well in black and white ink drawing. I'm very happy to own this lovely little set. Next thing I have is yet another Kate de Camelo book that I obviously didn't own until now and I haven't read before either and that is The Magician's Elephant. This one 
is very intriguing. I really like the illustration style. As I've discussed with my friend Katie before, she always picks just like the perfect illustrator to accompany each story. It just fits the mood and tone and themes of the story so well. So I'm super excited to see the way that these drawings coordinate with this story. They look very kind of dark and gloomy, maybe even a little bit eerie, I don't know. I'm super excited to dig into this though and hopefully that will happen very soon. Part of me wants to like drag out her work more because I have this one and only one other novel and then I'll have read everything that she's published thus far and she's coming out with a new book in October, not October, <laughs> I wish, wishful thinking there, <laughs> um, in April, not October, not anywhere close. Um, so there will be that to look forward to. I just can't seem to help myself. I just need a Kate DeCamelo fix all the time. So I'll probably be reading this one very soon. Next two books I have, I got from a book outlet order not too long ago. And the first one is Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms by Katherine Rundell. And this was recommended to me by my friend Katie. She absolutely loves this book. She raves about it. She says it's wonderful. And anything that she raves about, I'm automatically going to want to pick up and I have very high hopes for and this book is absolutely gorgeous like I I liked the cover when I saw it online but it's even more beautiful in person and this is my favorite part look at the back it's beautiful I'm so excited about this I can't really remember what it's about the end papers are quite pretty too with this nice yellow yeah I can't really remember what this is about but I'm excited nonetheless and hopefully I'll get to it pretty soon the next book that I got from that same order was one that I had never heard about before I just came across it uh, on book outlet when I was browsing and it looked the cover was really beautiful and the story sounded like something that would be right up my alley and that is Beyond the Laughing Sky by Michelle Cuevas perhaps and illustrated by Julie Morstead Morstad, and um, this is about a little boy named Nashville which I found super charming especially since I'm from Tennessee and he is born with wings I think yes he's a bird like boy who longs to fly yes it's, I'll just read you the synopsis really quick since I'm reading it here anyway. Ten-year-old Nashville doesn't feel like he belongs with his family in his town or even in this world. He was hatched from an egg his father found on the sidewalk and has grown into something not quite boy and not quite bird. Despite the support of his loving family, Nashville wishes more than anything that he could join his fellow birds up in the sky. The trouble is, he hasn't grown wings, which must surely make his dream impossible. And yet, in this lyrical novel with the feel of a timeless fable, Michelle Cuevas manages to convince us that actually anything is possible. So I just thought that sounded really charming and magical and um, whimsical and like a very fun read. So I decided to pick it up and I hope to get to it very soon as well. Next thing I have to show you is another pre-order that I had and that is The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz. This one just sounded, I just found it randomly on Amazon when I was browsing a few months ago and it just sounded uh, just wonderful. It says, 14-year-old Joan Scraggs, just like the heroines in her beloved novels, yearns for real life and true love. But what, but what hope is there for adventure, beauty, or art on a hard scrabble farm in Pennsylvania where the work never ends? Over the summer of 1911, Joan pours her heart out into her diary as she seeks a new, better life for herself. Because maybe, just maybe, a hired girl cleaning and cooking for $6 a week can become what a farm girl could only dream of, a woman with a future. And apparently this novel that Laura Amy Schlitz wrote is inspired by her grandmother's journal. So I think that's a very interesting touch. And it's a beautiful book. The cover is lovely and obviously the subject matter really appealed to me. So I am hoping to get to this one really soon as well. The next two things that I have to show you are actually picture books. And I showed them in my last video because I read them last month. And they are Daydreamers by Emily Winfield Martin and Swan, The Life and Dance of Anna Pavlova by Laurel Snyder and illustrated by Julie Morstad. Wait a minute. I think, hold on. Yes, Julie Morstad is the one who illustrated this book as well and she also illustrated this. Well, what a funny little fact I just found out. That's cool. Anyway, sorry, got a little distracted there. Um, yes, so I got these two last month. This one in that book outlet order that I referenced earlier, and this one in an Amazon order that I made. And they were both wonderful, and I will talk about them more in my uh, picture book review video that I will have coming hopefully in the near future.
And then the very last thing I have to show is something I'm sure you've seen everywhere and that you've wanted to get your hands on or that you've gotten your hands on your own copy by now because it's absolutely gorgeous and everybody's been raving about it and it deserves every bit of that praise because it's just magnificent. And that is the illustrated edition of The Sorcerer's Stone, uh, obviously by J.K. Rowling and illustrated by the immensely talented Jim K. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, that I've ever held, that I've gotten to put my hands on. It's just, it's gorgeous. Like, I was gonna wait till Christmas and ask for a copy, but I just couldn't. I had to have it. I went to Books A Million over the weekend with my dad, and I saw it, and we flipped through the entire thing in the store, and we were both ooing and aahing over it, and I just had to take it home with me because... And I didn't really, I was going to order a copy for Amazon, from Amazon, but because it would have been cheaper, but I just wanted to, like, hand pick out my own copy and ensure that it would be perfect and that it wouldn't come damaged or anything. And I did just that, and I got a beautiful copy, and I'm so excited about it. I'm probably going to read it very soon because I've seen all the illustrations because I flipped through it twice now, once with my dad and once with my mom. Um, so I've seen all the illustrations, but I want the experience of seeing them while reading the text, the beloved text that is so familiar as well. So yes, I'll probably be reading this soon, but it is just as beautiful and amazing as you would expect and hope. And it's just lovely. I'm in love with it. It's just the best thing ever. And Jim K, if you don't know, actually illustrated A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, which uh, he did a beautiful job with that as well. These are all full color illustrations and that is uh, black and white, but he is just an immensely talented artist. I don't think they could have chosen anyone better and I'm so pleased with this and I can't wait to see what he does with the books in the future. All right, everyone, that is my August, September, first half of October book haul <laughs> conglomeration of things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them or if you would like to pick any of them up. Uh, chat about that with me in the comments. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully have another one up for you soon. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.